International Women's Day. You might want to know why I'm making this video and if that's the case then make sure you watch the beginning of my other video for International Women's Day when I spoke about female entrepreneurs building innovative businesses in biotech. And now for this video I'm highlighting the brilliant work of entrepreneurial women setting up social enterprises that support biotech and the life sciences as a whole. And my name is Spencer and this is Biotech Basics. June Axel is an individual that defines what it means to be an entrepreneurial scientist that also engages society with science. June completed her PhD in Chemical Biology at the Scripps Research Institute in California. She's also worked at a range of biotech companies and co-founded her own company in the past. These experiences led to her becoming a scientific director and partner at IndieBio, which is the US equivalent of Rebel Bio. IndieBio have a life science accelerator program that gives scientists a $250,000 investment and plenty of support to transform them into entrepreneurs that build biotech startups with a major impact in the world. Here, she would have helped accelerate over 60 early stage biotech startups since 2016, and in total, IndieBio have worked with 94 startups which have gone on to collectively raise over $100 million. June is also involved in many different projects. She runs Science Couture, where she uses art and fashion to communicate and visualize scientific concepts in a way she hopes makes science appear attractive and fashionable. She also has a social enterprise called Biochemies, which she launched on Kickstarter to not only sell educational tools, but to provide plenty of online resources to interactively teach young children about science. Through all of this, she wants to challenge people to not see scientists stereotypically as older males wearing a lab coat with crazy hair. So yeah, sorry Einstein, but don't think she meant to roast you. Now for Kaisha Payne, she is the founder of BB STEM, a non-profit organisation campaigning for the balanced representation of black individuals working in STEM fields. She only finished university in 2017 with chemical engineering degrees at Aston University, followed by a master's at Imperial College. A report by the Royal Academy of Engineering recognised that although plenty programmes are tackling the gender balance in STEM, more can be done to support black and minority ethnicity students going from uni into the engineering sector. And Kaisha read this report but it wasn't clear to her about what she could do about it until she had a random encounter with a black man that she saw as a successful engineer. Speaking to this man inspired her so much that at the start of 2018, she decided to create a platform where young black people do not have to rely on a random encounter to meet and network with others who may be that source of inspiration. And this platform is what's known as Black British Professionals in STEM, which is there to help young black people benefit from a support network for those interested in science, technology, engineering and maths. BB STEM runs workshops, networking events and mentoring schemes, not just for school kids, but also for students at uni. And as for Kaisha, she is managing her time between BB STEM and work as a scientist at Medimmune, a company dedicated to R&D for biologic drugs. She was also recognised in the House of Commons by the Inclusive Tech Alliance and also by the Financial Times for her contributions to driving change in tech. Sweta Raghavan is a scientist, entrepreneur and a social activist. She picked up her first degree in biochemistry, genetics and biotechnology at Bangalore University in India before she came to the UK to complete her masters at King's College London. She went on to also do a PhD at King's in cell biology and molecular biophysics and in her time in London, Sweta noticed that students from particular backgrounds weren't represented at university. 
As an international student, she had doubts as to whether it would be right for her to do something about it until a friend suggested that she either gets involved herself or she stops telling people what to do. So during her PhD, Sweater founded the social enterprise Scientists and Co to raise the ambitions of school students from disadvantaged socio-economic background. Scientists and Co have engaged with schools and other organisations to offer educational programmes and skills workshops. And with their Shadow of Scientists initiative, they were able to offer 100 young students a taste of university life and to also shadow world leading researchers. 9 out of 10 students involved with this initiative were offered a place at university which is amazing as many of them would have been the first in their family to go to uni. There's more to Sweater as her interest in social activism led to her travelling to the World Health Organisation headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland where she lobbied about mental health awareness while discussing the white paper she published about young people's mental health. Right now she works for the UK government as a senior science and innovation advisor. Issues in society have always been viewed as opportunities to make a positive impact by Sweater and she has been recognised for this with multiple elected roles representing students at university. I was lucky enough to brush shoulders with her when I was doing my first degree at King's and she was awarded an honorary life membership from the student union for her contributions to student welfare. Exactly 12 months ago on this day, Sweater was featured at an exhibition at King's on International Women's Day which highlighted her contributions to STEM alongside other notable women from King's including Dr Bernadine Doe. If there's anyone that deserves a mention, then make sure to tweet me or comment below. I'll try and share the work of women making an impact in biotech that I couldn't talk about today. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to support the channel. As for now, my name's Spencer and you just watched Biotech Basics.